The Sakunajima update is massive and changes the entire game of Power World. In particular, this new update adds a lot of new endgame content. I was allowed to play the new Sakurajima update many days in advance, but found myself having to play catch up for a lot of it because I was not prepared and because I had to learn a lot of new things. In this video, we're going to cover my top 6 tips on what you need to do to best prepare yourself for the Sakurajima update so you run into as few obstacles as possible when wanting to attempt the new content. If this video is helpful to you, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Power World content. and leave a comment on what you are looking forward to the most from the new Sakurajima update. Let's go ahead and get started. One thing that I was definitely not prepared for were all the new technologies that would be added. Ancient technology points are by far the most difficult to acquire, as they are mostly earned from boss first kills. It's been a while since we've had to spend these points on anything, so if you're like me, you might have went ahead and decided to spend your extra ancient technology points on relatively useless upgrades like the feed bag, right? Like I have a, the giant feed bag, which I don't think is useful at all, or like the decal gun set or lily spear. If you're running low on ancient technology points, how you can farm them is by tackling high level dungeons and rushing straight to the boss room. By clearing the boss, you will gain access to two dungeon chests with a chance of receiving an ancient technical manual. The ancient technical manual will give you one ancient technology point each, and I think you're going to need a total of 14. So Sakurajima will introduce two new alpha pals and a new boss tower. You'll get one ancient tech point per alpha pal and five ancient tech points from the new boss. This means you'll get a total of seven new ancient technology points, meaning you'll need to farm about seven more. You'll need at least three of the new Sakurajima ancient technologies in order to get the best experience. The new large generator, which is right over here, you unlock it at level 49. The sulfur mine, which is five points cost. And the coal mine, which also costs five ancient technology points. The large generator, by the way, costs four ancient technology points. We'll get into why exactly you need the large generator in a bit, but the sulfur mine and the coal mine are immensely useful for the gunpowder production. So you see, in order to craft Gatling gun bullets, you need still gunpowder. You need gunpowder for grenade ammo for the grenade launcher. And you'll need a lot of assault rifle too in order to carry you towards the peak endgame content. And no, you cannot buy the endgame ammo. Making crafting and having infinite resources like the sulfur mine and the coal mine extremely important. You can buy components of endgame ammo, and this is where most of your gold will be spent on, as opposed to before the patch where you would spend your gold on assault rifle ammo because it was just easy to buy and cheap. In Sakurajima, gold will mostly be spent on electric organs. Electric organs are vital ingredients to the new and powerful laser rifle ammo, which is called the energy cartridge. Which brings me to my next point, and that is that you're going to want to capture an electric organ merchant. The electric organ merchant I have for my base is over here. Let me just go ahead and double check. That's the right one. Yeah, there you go. Electric organs cost 200 gold each, and you're going to need a lot of them. So uh, how you can capture an electric organ organ merchant is by going over here you can go over to this side over here this is the small settlement and the electric organ merchant is probably one of the first merchants you run into he's the level 30 merchant over here and it should be fairly easy to capture him let's go ahead and double check if you see over here electric organ 200 and so what you would do is just shoot him maybe a couple times and then try and capture him as soon as you do capture him you can go ahead and get on your jetrigan and hopefully don't waste time by firing and just fly up so you have the wanted status right now, but if you stay up in the air for a long time where they are not able to shoot you or anything, you will lose the wanted status and be able to have your new electric organ merchant. So there you go. The wanted status is now gone. 
electric organs are not only really useful for laser rifle ammo, which you'll need as many as you can get, but also for the production of power generators. This brings me to my next point. Electricity generation is absolutely vital to Power World Endgame. Sakurajima introduces a new resource into the mix, which is crude oil. Crude oil is used to craft missiles, it's used to craft flamethrower fuel, but most importantly, crude oil is used to craft plasteel. Plasteel is, you can see this over here, used to craft your endgame armor and also your endgame weapons. And so plasteel is absolutely vital to tackle the new endgame content. Crude oil can only be farmed with crude oil extractors, which are automatic production facilities that are powered by electricity. And these things, it may not look like it right now because I have the sufficient power to do it, but they suck energy hard. If for whatever reason you are unable to craft a large generator like the one I have here, then you would need like six power generators. I tested this and I'll probably have another video talking about that uh, on my channel. Make sure you subscribe. But you'll need like six power generators continuously powered by Orzerks to power these two crude oil extractors. And you only really need two, at least for most bases, because most bases, most sites only have two oil fields which are the only places that these crude oil fields can be built on. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean by the oil fields. But oil fields do appear everywhere throughout the world. And in some places, even more, they're even more abundant than in Sakurajima. But you see here, here is clearly a base building site, and it has one oil field and two oil fields. And you can only build one crude oil extractor Per oil field and that's a shiny shroomer let me go ahead and catch that real quick give me a second i can't believe power world decides to throw as many distractions as possible from me making a video an hour before i'm supposed to publish it because electricity generation is so important you're gonna want to breed a lot of orzerks depending on like if you were able to craft this or not if you're not able to craft this for whatever reason because you don't have the ancient tech points or Let's just say you can't afford it. It's pretty expensive. You got 200 power metal ingots, 200 electric organs each. Um, let's say you're not able to make this for some reason. You'll need six power generators. Then you're going to need a lot of Orzerks because you'll need at least six Orzerks to power those generators at a time. And maybe you'll need like a couple in reserve to be able to like take breaks and like relieve some of your orzerks that get a little too stressed out so i would say to breed at least eight orzerks you'll need at least eight of them if you're going the power generator route or if you want to use the large generator i only have uh five orzerks assigned that way if one of them gets really stressed out you know they can relieve each other and so that's how i have it set up for all of my oil bases and you're gonna need a lot of oil trust me how you are able to get these Orzerks, by the way, uh, you can either find them in this specific island over here. I don't know exactly what this is called. You could breed a Grizzbolt and a Relaxaurus. And that is like a predetermined breeding uh, combination that will allow you to breed Orzerks. Another tip that I have is to start crafting circuit boards. Circuit boards are really important. They're made by pure quartz and polymer, and polymer is made from high-quality PAL oil. You'll need circuit boards because if you look over here, the crude oil extractor requires 50 circuit boards each. And depending on how many oil extractors you want, you know, let's just say you have two oil bases, so that's like four extractors, you'll need 200 circuit boards so definitely start farming for them if you want to be able to get polymer all you need is high quality pal oil you can either buy it from a merchant or do what i did and farm and ranch uh demuds which i have over here so you could have like demuds i only have two not four like i thought but that's fine those are high quality pal oils or 
you can buy the oil from the merchant over here in Dune Shelter. Dune Shelter has a merchant that sells high quality pal oil. And you'll see that over here. This guy over here, he's also pretty low level too. So if you want, you can capture him as well. The other component for circuit boards are uh, quartz. Quartz can be found mostly over here in the Frost Island, right over here. So this spot is negative 206, 251. Pretty good place to farm quartz. Just come out here every um, every day, I guess, every day in Power World, and just farm it, and you'll be should be pretty set for the circuit boards. My fifth tip is that I highly recommend you craft a legendary assault rifle. The legendary assault rifle is probably your best weapon even while you are max level. You can see I'm max level. I'm still using the legendary assault rifle. In order to get legendary blueprints of the new Sakurajima weapons, you need to get lucky by raiding the oil rig stronghold, which you can find over here. On the bottom right of the map that's 585 negative 432 and this oil rig is it's, it's pretty tough but just trust me when i say you're gonna need all the firepower you can get on top of that the new bosses and the new pals on sakurajima they're no pushover the legendary assault rifle is going to carry you through most of the content um that's not the like the pinnacle of the end game content the peak of the end game content you're probably going to want like a legendary laser rifle but that's going to be a while so a legendary assault rifle is definitely the way to go and even when you have the laser rifle like i do i do have the laser rifle the laser rifle is a single shot whereas the assault rifle is fully automatic so the assault rifle is definitely good in a lot of situations that the laser rifle isn't. So I would still highly recommend it. You can acquire a legendary assault rifle schematic by farming the Alpha Blossomite, which you can find over, not there, right here, right here. <laughs> this is where the Alpha Blossomite is. He is in negative 442, negative 561. But the entrance to his dungeon, or like his little cave, is over here, negative 434, negative 533. So you see his spawn point is right over here. You'll see the little torches. In order to maximize your chances of obtaining that legendary assault rifle schematic, you should catch the Blossomut, then butcher it to get double opportunity for his drops. The last tip that I have is to start stockpiling some legendary spheres. You'll see over here that there is an ultimate sphere at the very end. It's very expensive. You need plasteel and plasteel again is used to craft all your end game stuff. And I would definitely suggest get your end game weapons and armor before starting to dump your plasteel into ultimate spheres. Uh, Plasteel is made by crude oil, paldeum fragment, and ore. So crude oil, again, it, it farms very slowly. So you definitely are not going to have a lot of leftover Plasteel to make ultimate spheres. Definitely start stockpiling the legendary spheres. And they are good to capture pretty much any pal in Sakurajima. Uh, the only exception maybe being the final um, or the alpha bosses. So... Let me go ahead and show you one of the alphas. So even here, he's at 88, 9%. That's not bad at all. So you see, you can capture the highest level alpha boss with just a legendary sphere. So I would start stockpiling uh, up on legendary spheres. There are ore mining sites. If you don't have a couple of these already set up, I guess we'll, we'll say tip number seven. I wasn't really thinking tip number seven, but... You definitely want to have two ore mining site twos up because that's going to result in a lot of ore production. And ore is still, still, even in Sakurajima, it's still the lifeblood of everything. Ore is used for everything. So make plenty of the ore. Keep farming that ore. 
use the mining sites, do not manually farm ore, or rather, do not have like my base over here, which is set up on actual ore nodes. That's not really important. You can either manually farm ore with like um, Dig Toys or Astagon, or you could simply just have a setup like me, if I could just find my elevator, where I have two ore mining sites. And they don't have that much in here because I do have transporters in the space delivering them to this box. So we have like two stacks. But yeah, those are my top tips on how to best prepare for the Sakurajima update.